Welcome to the Yorkshire Dales. It's snowing on the high ground on Ingleborough Mountain, look. But uh, the low ground, it's supposed to have a wind chill of minus seven, but we're going to give it a whirl. <laughs> okay, well, I've just got a new permission. Uh, there's this part, this oxbow on the river, that might be another picnic spot I want to look at. Uh, the seals, they can wait. <laughs> They're not going anywhere. So, actually it's turned out a nice day. They do say it's going to snow, but we'll see. Hello, compulsory iron ring. <laughs> going to do well now. <laughs> oh dear, I've messed up big time. <laughs> I've turned down the wrong lane and I've got permission from the wrong farm. <laughs> so far I've found a bit of brass and a pound coin. <laughs> and that's going to be it, I think. <laughs> Well, not a complete disaster. <laughs> I come up onto the footpath on Peter's ground and uh, just found an 1806 uh, George Halfpenny. I think it's 1806. Uh, maybe not. <laughs> About a yard away, Elizabeth Two Penny, 1964. Four, I think, is that? <laughs> Only a couple of hundred years. Uh, 1938, Vons half penny. Uh, crows are out. <laughs> okay, I've got uh, the permission I was after before. <laughs> I've got two permissions today. Uh, which is, I've got about a two mile footpath here now. Hey. Oh, I should half penny, which I've promptly lost. <laughs> there you are. They don't want to be found, some of these. <laughs> oh, yeah, silver sixpence. Oh, I've lost about two miles. <laughs> I deserve something. <laughs> By the style, look. Somebody sat down, lost a tanner. Hey, hey. Oh, it's snowing. Ha! Supposed to give over. Oh, a worn out bronze bearing. <laughs> oh, the sun's out again, that's one consolation. Oh, I've never walked so far for so little. <laughs> it was deep, the numbers were high, it looks like lead, but I'm hoping... Ah, it's a spindle wall. <laughs> oh, well, good one. <laughs> when it's white like that, sometimes it's silver. Spindle wall, good one. Yes. These slopes here, above the field, just in the corner. That's where the women, the fellas were working. Just got another spindle wheel. Very nice decorated one, look. What a belter. Nice. Oh, nice buckle. Yeah, it's a good little slope, is this? <laughs> Whoa, 67. I thought it was going to be a ring pull. A beautiful buckle. Well, we... Ah, big, big field. Spindle wall bank. That's where they were sat watching the fellas. Up on that bank there. Very thin copper coin. Ah, uh, got to be George two, three, but early. 1700s. Another very thin copper, 1700s. Middle of the field, just walking back to the farm, going home now. Cold. The sun is going down now, it's going to get very cold. Hello, welcome to the roundup. <laughs> Today started a complete disaster. <laughs> I went in the wrong farm to get permission and I walked half a mile down through his fields and I thought, hang on a minute, this isn't where I want to be. <laughs> So it took me about three hours of mucking around, going over there and everywhere, before I finally latched onto something decent. 
So the disaster turned out quite well, actually. Uh, what we got here, look. Uh, copper, solid, a thingy. <laughs> Gun metal bearing there. Um, with the oil hole, little oil hole in there. That's a very good quality bronze. And again there, it's that, that one snapped. These are for, they've got wooden rods on there and they join up together and you shove the brush up the chimney. The chimney sweepers uh, brushes. Uh, but the wood's gone, long gone. I was working in GM Power uh, sensitivity 92 and transmission power 3 at one stage <laughs> and I was going down to China picking up bits of lead <laughs> uh, go, let's see let's go on the coins first oh I was pushing it uphill I'll tell you found a pound coin way hey, 1989 there's a George the Sixth there, I can't even get a date on it. And there's another George VI half penny with a 1938. And a, a, a 1964 Lizzie II penny. Disgusting condition. And the coppers, well, if you look at that, um, it's an 1806. George Third, Grotty, Grotty to goodness. George Third, that was right way up. <laughs> half penny. These are half pennies. I think this is a George Third, about 1775. Texel making out, they're really, really grotty. And that one is, is, I can't get to it at all. But it's, it's 1700 something. And then look! <laughs> bit of silver. Can't read a bit of silver. Nice little sixpence. George 5, 1930. Uh, beautiful little coin. Nice, nice, nice. With the one, six acorns on it, look. Six pence. And then the goodies. After all the mucking about, I landed on a bit of medieval stuff. Um, buckles. Really grot. This wasn't that far away from it, but look, it's, it's immaculate. Nice, nice shoe buckle, that. Very nice shoe buckle. Yes, indeedy. And then, ho oh, oh, ho, look at that. Spindle wall. A decorated spindle wall. Nice. I don't get them round where I usually detect where I live. So when I get out into somewhere different, it, it uh, makes a real nice change. One nice decorated spindle wall, and then a beehive spindle wall, probably older. So whitened off is the lead. Goodly. And this third one, it looks like a spindle wall. It actually, if you look under here, it's still got a bit of felt under there. <laughs> it's what they nail down to hold the felt down onto roofs. It's lead. Uh, but it spreads out and gives a good grip on the felt. Waterproof grip. So it's not spindle whirl, it's, uh, gee, I don't know, 50 year old. <laughs> so there, look. Started off a complete disaster. And what do you know, turns into a, a really nice hunt. Yes, indeedy. Oh, baby. It's out there. Go get it. <laughs> Till I see you later. Bye.